Before we check the pulse of the rally, when our next guest was last on this show, here's what he had to say about the state of the recovery. The U.S. economy is not recovering from anything. It's actually getting sicker. So it's not going to be a W, it's not going to be a V, it's not going to be a U, it's, not, it, it, it's nothing. There is no letter to describe it because there is no recovery. But, you know, there is a lot of inflation. You know, you're talking about what's happening in the market. The market is rising as a consequence of inflation. Since then, the Dow has rallied some 6%, breaking through 10,000. The VIX has tumbled to multi-year lows. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm thinking your next guest is still calling BS on this historic rally. Peter Schiff is the president of Euro Pacific Capital and the author of Crash Proof 2.0. Peter, always great to have you with us. Uh, sure. You know, today the dollar is at a new low for the year. It's making 52-week lows against most currencies. The price of gold has broken out to a new high. Uh, that shows that the rally in U.S. stocks, again, is phony. If you price stocks and things like gold, they're getting cheaper, not more expensive. Yes, the dollar hit a new fresh 14-month uh, low, Peter, but we've hit fresh 14-month lows, and that's actually been a good thing for the markets. I mean, at some point, <laughs> you're, you're leaving a lot of money on the well, table when you're not well, in the remember, market. Remember, I'm owning the things that are going up much faster than the U.S. stock market, so I'm not leaving anything on the table. It's the people who are foolishly holding U.S. stocks that are leaving a lot on the table because they're not investing abroad instead. But the policies that have caused the stock market to rise are the same policies that are undermining the value of our dollar and destroying our economy. We're going to suffer because of what the government has done to generate a phony nominal rise in U.S. stock prices. Hey, Peter, you talk about you own the things that are going up faster than the market itself. Like what? I mean, if you look at gold, on the year, it's maybe up 20% if you bought the absolute bottom. You look at copper, it was up 24% this quarter. So where is it that you're putting look, your money that you're look, outperforming in the market? And if you look, look at where the market was at 6,500, now it's near the 10,000 yes. level. It sure seems like the market's yes. had a heck of a run. Not compared to foreign markets. If you look at overseas stock markets in Asia and Europe, they are running circles around the U.S. Their performance is almost twice as good. Um, and, and, that, and that's a reflection of not only have the fact that sto foreign stock markets have gone up, but the dollar has collapsed. So if you own stocks in other countries where the currencies are rising, not only do you get the benefit of the rising stock price, but you get the benefit of the rising currency, plus the dividend yields are broader, much, but, much higher than the dividend yields here. And Peter, but how can you say, first of all, half the companies you're talking about uh, effectively oper are U.S. companies operate around the world. The earnings we've seen this quarter from the most important companies in this market are coming from a globalized market. So by leaving that aside and throwing Freeport out the window, throwing Intel out the window, throwing IBM out the window, these are all companies that are making a ton of money globally. So right, when you push down the U.S. stock market and just say universally that the U.S. Well, the US companies, because of, for because of U.S. Uh, fiscal policy, are, are trapped, uh, yeah, you're missing look, a huge opportunity. Well, look, obviously, I own a few U.S. oil companies and some mining companies here. I'm talking about the market as a whole. Yeah, there could be pockets of opportunity in the U.S., but I think there's better opportunities abroad where the valuations are better, where 100% of the earnings come from outside the United States. And I'm also looking at the future for very, very high taxes coming on U.S. corporations, I think, in the years ahead. Maybe even windfalls profit taxes on those few companies that manage to make money in this economy. I'd rather invest in companies where they're not going to be under attack by regulators and, and, and the government. But I'm also looking at the, pro, the, 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 the economic policies by the Fed that are really going to undermine our economy in the next few years, that are going to pull the rug out from under any kind of phony recovery. Right. I think we're headed for a dollar crash, and that's a major, major crisis. Okay, Peter, always uh, good to get your side of the story. Peter Schiff of Europe Pacific Capital. Uh, you know what was interesting was when Peter said he doesn't want to invest in markets where they're changing the rules, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, like in the U.S. Yeah, look what they you did. look at Brazil. Brazil. Brazil, exactly. I mean, look, as much as I Hello, love emerging markets, happens, yeah. you know, the stability in the United States market is very different than what you get abroad. You're also getting earnings from companies that operate abroad. Right. I, I, I don't okay. agree. Uh, don't go anywhere. Lots more rapid.